Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jufus is just milking another dual rank video. It's been six months since our last dual rank video? No, this one actually has big implications. Okay, so how this came about is I'm building a PC for a streamer right now. She wanted it to be a single PC stream. She's moving to Canada and a dual PC stream is just kind of too intense for her. So she really just wanted a really monstrous all in one PC. Now, when you're building a single PC stream, by the way, subscribe down below because the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually build the best single PC stream. But when building a single PC stream, you do want 64 gigs of RAM, right? You need about 32 gigs for the game, and then you also need about 32 gigs for OBS, your webcam, your overlays, also the, uh, the replay button on like your foot pedal and all that stuff. You really need a little bit of a buffer there. So knowing that we need 64 gigs of RAM, she went and she got a couple of quotes from your usual COD bro PC builders, right? And the price quotes that she got were uh, alarming, alarmingly high. So she gave the PC builders her budget. They came back with a 13700K and a 4070 Ti. Now, you would not be able to single PC stream on that and have 64 gigs of RAM. When I say 64 gigs, I mean the good stuff, not that crap Micron shit. So as a builder, when you're looking at somebody's budget, you're trying to figure out how to give them the most bang for their dollar, the most value essentially, right? Now, if you're going to be playing Warzone on a single PC stream, you guys know you need the fastest memory speed possible. So right now, if you go and you look up the fastest kit of 64 gig uh, DDR5, it's about $410 for the 6400 C32 stuff, right? Now in comes the meat and potatoes of this video. We found an alternative for much cheaper. In comes these Kingston Fury Beast 32 gig sticks. Affiliate links down below to these specific sticks, but hold on, watch till the end because there is, there's a gotcha in there, you'll see. So these Kingston sticks are 5600C40. Now, when you're actually shopping for 5600C40, you can get any kind of brand of stick out there. So what I was trying to find out was, was there a way to actually guarantee that you get some Hynix ones? And there is. I'll post a picture up here, but essentially, Kingston have specific part numbers. ETMH. H stands for Hynix. If you get ETMM, you would get Micron. If you get ETMS, you get Samsung. So you have when you're going to the store and you're buying these things, you really have to make sure that you get the ETMH part number so that you can guarantee yourself some Hynix memory sticks. Now that was caveat number one. So let's say you go out and you find these things for dirt cheap. Affiliate links down below. So I'm looking up these sticks, right? And they're about $280. I'm like, man, that's almost $140 of savings over the other ones. That's basically a free upgrade to a 13900K for this streamer, right? So I'm like, all right, if I get some high neck sticks, I'll just overclock it the rest of the way, right? So I buy myself a kit. Now, the nice thing about these is they actually have um, screws so you can reattach the heat sinks. Great. Now the problem with these sticks is you can't actually overclock them out of the box because they come with this really crappy foam. It's not even a real thermal pad, it's like a thermal foam. So you run these things stock out of the box and they hit like 70 Celsius. So you got no thermal headroom there, right? But thankfully they come with attachable heat sink so you can take them off, replace the thermal pads, put them back on so they look OEM, but you get a substantial thermal improvement. So good on Kingston for that. So I get my kit, I take the heat sinks off to replace the thermal pads. Now I'm checking the part number of the actual memory IC itself. And to my surprise, I got an ADI kit. For those of you that know what ADI is, that's the stuff that hits 8,000 megahertz. Now Kingston is giving it to you for $290 on a 32 gig stick. Insane value, insane. So on the motherboard that I'm using for this girl's build, I'm using a Z790 
uh, pro art creator from Asus, I got the ADI ones to 7,000 on that board. And they say overclocking is dead. I took a 5,600 kit for dirt cheap and overclocked it to 7,000. Now that's value. So I was so impressed with these sticks that I bought myself another one because I wanted to run them too. Now, when I got the second kit of sticks in, I took the heat sinks off and they were m die. So there's caveat number two. When you do buy these, you don't know if you're getting a die or m die. It's a crapshoot. Now with the m die ones, I got them to 60... 6,666 megahertz, so about 400 megahertz less. Now, when I checked the FPS difference between the M die and the A die, it was only about 10 FPS difference anyway in Warzone 2, so not a deal breaker. You're still getting dual rank M die, which is still great value for that $280. Even if you lose the lottery, quote unquote, you're still getting insane value with the M die. Now here's the big secret about these sticks. There is another reason why you may want to go this route. Now let's say you follow some mainstream tech tubers and they told you to adopt DDR5 early and you bought a really shitty 4DIM motherboard. Now you already know that if you have a 4DIM motherboard, you are frequency limited. Now what you get with the dual rank sticks is you get the FPS of those higher speed sticks at a much lower speed. Yup, so when I tested dual rank 7000, I got the same FPS as single rank 8000. There will be a video coming up on that shortly on the channel. I will show you guys actual side-by-sides, but for now this is more of a PSA of which sticks to get. So basically what you're getting is you're getting 64 gigs of RAM for cheaper than 32 gigs of RAM of ADI and you get the same FPS. So essentially, you just got 32 gigs extra for free. There is zero downside to getting this. The only downside is, if you don't know how to tune DDR5, you're gonna have a hell of a time. Going from like 7200 to 7600 is not the same thing as going from 5600 to 7000. So overclocking these sticks to their maximum does take quite a bit of skill, right? So this is more for you advanced users. If you're a normal user and you get these sticks, you're gonna have a really hard time making them work. But that's where learning how to overclock can actually save you money. So I saved this girl a whole bunch of money on her memory kit. She's still going to max out her FPS. And I took that savings and got her a 13900K instead for the same price as the other builders. So a super short and sweet video. All the guys in the Discord already know about these sticks. I wanted to make sure they could get their purchases in first before I made the information public. But basically, if you have a special use case for 64 gigs of RAM, or you're looking for max FPS and you accidentally bought a 4DIM motherboard, these Kingston sticks are the way to go. You don't have to go and buy that higher expensive binned kit. Anyway, guys, don't forget to use those affiliate links down below. Any kind of sweet discovery like this ends up in the Discord first, so all of those guys already got their orders in for these epic sticks. And if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, do all that YouTube SEO stuff, like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you've actually tried to overclock some cheap ADI sticks. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.